Well, hello everybody and greetings once again from the Tampa RV Super Show 2020. We're here on Industry Day and uh, here we are, Numar and um, executive producer Herbie, he wanted to see the Numar Ventana, 40 foot long. And I think these are it, yes, hi. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. So as I was saying, the no, no more ventana, which casually means window in Spanish, and I think this is one of them. Actually, let me look at my notes. He wanted to see the Numar Ventana 40. This is the 3426. And these are country stars. I'll tell you what, let's see the, let's see the 36. The 3426 Numar Ventana here. This is, of course, a diesel pusher. This is kind of the, the epitome of luxury, these Numars. And very well made, recently acquired by, by Wanabego, by the way, but apparently they're gonna keep the same Amish construction and quality. This one is built on the Freightliner chassis and they have that new digital screen that I showed you. I forgot what it's called. I showed it to you guys at the Hershey RV show last, uh, last year, late last year. Uh, we have a nice dinette, always good quality, uh, good, good quality materials. Here's a, the, the, the sofa, in, sort of in front of the TV, you, you kind of have to crane your, your head a little bit to the right, which is not the ideal uh, position for that TV, but if you don't mind, and uh, here we have very nice, very nice materials, countertop, very uh, huge, huge, um, how does this work? There, I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't want to have something so heavy covering the, the range, but hey, here we have, it's, it's built in the fantastic vent, by the way, look at that, look at the accents, you know, the LED accents on that roof, that's, it's just beautiful. Okay, here we have a half bath, or this is, no, this is the full bath, which is uh, halfway through the coach. Here we have a sink, toilet ceramic toilet and a very nice shower very tall actually I'm not gonna go in because they have all those things there but this is um, is this residential this might be residential style refrigerator if I could only figure out how to open it okay there has to be a way there we go yeah definitely can you hear that compressor I can hear that compressor so this is definitely residential, very nice and cold. Back here, the bedroom, huge king-size bed. And uh, it's kind of hot in here. Actually, I don't think they have the AC turned on. Of course, washer and dryer, as you would expect on a rig of this size. And I suspect this is going to be a pretty big closet. And you even get a, is this a safe? No, that's just like the, the like the electric box. Oh, what is this? Okay, that's so, to access the back of your. I thought it would be like a shelf or something. All right, this is really cool. Of course, uh, here we have all uh, well, the lights are on that multiplex system. Uh, the donuts are extra, by the way. Let's let's uh, continue walking around, see if I can find that Ventana 40 that, that Herbie wanted me to look at. Okay, here we go. Here we've got more Ventanas. This one seems to be closed, so I don't know. This is the 4369. Oh, here we are. Here we go. This is very nice. I don't think they have this one powered on. But we'll see, maybe we can power it on. Let's see what we have here, ceiling. Accent, high-low. Okay, high-low, there we go. 
Here we have dueling sofas. Well, we have a sofa and a recliner, TV in front of the recliner as it should be. Beautiful, large kitchen. We have, a, of course, a dishwasher. But if, in case you want to do it by hand, we also have a, oh, no, no, this is the induction, induction cooktop. But in case you want to wash the dishes by hand, there's also a, a sink. This will set you back, suggested $400,000. Here we have a Whirlpool residential refrigerator, nice dinette with this uh, kind of faux ceramic material, very nice. Here we have a half bath here for your, because this is a rig, look at the size of this. The, 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 look at the size, it's like, you, 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 could, you could put a gym in here. This is a rig to entertain for sure. By the way, look at this huge convection microwave. And then back here we have uh, the bedroom with a nice king size bed. This is the fantastic. Yeah, I'm familiar with that sound. Where is that? Oh, that's here. Uh, on top of the kitchen. And then you have another fantastic fan here in the bathroom. This half bath here in the front. So um, let's, all, let's just turn on all the lights so we can see better. And back here in the bedroom, how's this? No. Where are my lights? Here are my lights. Ceiling, a dresser, accent. What's the accent? Oh, beautiful. Look at that accent. Very nice. And here in the back, we have another bathroom. This is a full bath. Look at that um, shower and the toilet. And his and hers uh, sinks here in the bathroom, and you can, of course, turn on all the lights as we should. And uh, here in the back, huge wardrobe closet. And, oh, no washer and dryer in this one. At least not here. Yeah. Lots of room. That's a huge pantry. But still, no, oh, they must be here. I knew there had to be a washer and dryer somewhere in here. There we go. Washer and dryer. So this was the, oh, here's, here's all, the, all your, your controls. And this one is also on the freight liner chassis and this one is uh, this was the Numar Ventana 4369 let's see this one next door might be the the 40 footer we're talking because the difference between the 40 and the and over 40 they have tag axles a single axle I think is up to 40 feet if I'm not mistaken so let's check this one out and it's blocked why? All right, we are now here at, at Tiffin, and uh, Herbie also wanted to see the Tiffin Faden IH 40 footer, which is probably this one. This looks like a 40, a 40 footer right here. Yes, yeah, single axle 40 IH. Wow, first, first try. Let's check it out. We have pricing already. It uh, normally retails for $3.93, today $3.39 at the show price. And let's see if we can take a peek inside. Hi, how are you? And here we are, air conditioning, finally. <laughs> oh, this one has uh, dueling couches, of course. And here in the front, this is a TV that goes up. Let me see if I can find out how to do it. That would be cool. Well, it's got all that, which in my opinion, it's not the best position for these lights, but hey, it works. Oh, TV lift. Here we go. And this chair is kind of on the way, you know, if you know what I mean. Maybe it's perhaps not the best position. As I was saying, Design-wise, I mean, I don't know how often you want to turn off the lights, but it is perhaps not the best design choice to have the light switch here 
unless you have like really long arms and um, in any case here we are dueling couches we have um, someone hit it there pretty deep storage as you can see and um, here's the galley on the driver's side we have a dishwasher of course because why not a rig of this uh, size and here we have some power and the USB that actually hides here's our induction cooktop which I imagine I don't know exactly how to do it one-handed, but I'm sure. There we go. And it becomes a backsplash. That's very nice. Here we have a very nice uh, faucet uh, with uh, the sink. Yeah. Luckily, the lights are all controllable from every uh, other place. So you won't need to reach that hard to reach a uh, light switch. Very nice sink here on this side. A smaller sink. What else do we have here? Large pantry. And a residential refrigerator by Maytag. And this is totally residential, compressor based, the same one as you would have at your sticks and bricks. Which uh, leads me to believe that we probably have a good, a good pretty good power uh, battery system here. Here's our main controller. You know, I kind of feel ambivalent about these things. Here's your, you have three air conditioners, I guess, in this rig. Uh, and um, floor heat. Well, this is very nice. I always like to do this. Uh, master light off. And we are in the dark. And master light on. And all the lights are back on. Especially useful if you're leaving for the day, you know, you want to make sure that all the lights are off. Here's our entertainment center, and this is a very large uh, TV here in front of your king size bed, which is very nice. And look at this bathroom. Very, very sexy bathroom. And let me step inside. And as you can see, I'm 5'10", five, I'm five and there's at least an extra foot uh, up here, so um, I think uh, my friend Herbie would fit perfectly in this bathroom. And back here we have another closet, we have a nice uh, um, safe, and this washer and dryer, because when, uh, when you get in this rig, this type of rig, you have to have a washer and dryer. You have a ceiling fan here in the, in the bedroom. And overall, it's very luxurious, very nice, very spacious. I mean, look at the... I mean, granted, you have two slides, two very, relatively sizable slides here, but... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at a couple more rigs today on Industry Day and then... We're gonna call it a, a day here at the Tampa RV Show. It's very hot out there. It's already 1.35 p.m. And uh, while there is not much editing to be done on this video, I still have to do a little bit of editing. <laughs> let's see, let's see what else we can see. By the way, this is not on the freight liner chassis. This is an international chassis. But international is also getting um, that, that computerized screen. A little fan. Yeah, this is very nice. 